My name is Heiko Sanders. I've been at Green School for five years now. Um, I'm in the senior grade, 12th grade. This particular project started, the main driver mainly was just coming to Bali and seeing the amount of trash. Like the story that you hear quite often, all these things that are happening, like trash cleanups, all of this and that. And I always started wondering, where does this go? Like where does the trash eventually go? So initially I was invited by um, the Green School teacher, Jesse Driver. It was a solution to basically close the loop of plastic trash. The idea is to not only formalize the waste industry in Sibang and Bali, but to also educate the community and the local schools around like Kuku and Green School. We want to also drive the economy of the TPST and most importantly, we want to make sure our island is rid of plastic and keep it sustainable. At Green School, we go beyond academics, we even go, we go beyond arts, we go beyond activism, and we get into action. Our change makers from a young age are involved with the community, they're involved in identifying problems, and they're involved in finding the solutions to those problems. Three years ago, a Green School parent contacted me and was disturbed about the plastic problem on Bali's beaches and had read a newspaper article about a potential solution in the form of pyrolysis, a process by which the fossil fuel energy in plastics is retrieved and we turn waste into value. And over the course of two years, working with Indonesian government agencies and the people in our community who own the local TPST site, the machine has arrived in the country, it's being tested, the facility has been renovated, and we are very excited for its arrival. Luar biasa buat hati kami secara pribadi. Begitu orang dari belas baik luar biasanya membantu masyarakat antusias juga ikut mendukung proses ini. Kami harapkan sekali ini seperti itu. The Green School has gave me two valuable learning lessons for this particular project. Firstly, it has shown me the problem. And secondly, knowing how to take on action within a project. I hope that my students gain confidence in their own voice, that they realize that they're a necessary part of changing the future and that they're welcome to start changing the future now.